As you know, surprisingly, Google, one of the biggest companies in the world, have not really kind of edged itself into the electric car world, right? They are developing a self-driving technology, but they're not developing really the car itself or haven't acquired a company. Uh, that is weird, but they are uh, going to benefit us, the electric car drivers. They're going to help us make better decisions where to charge. And they're doing it in a pretty interesting and easy, really, way. I'm surprised it hasn't happened before. I'll tell you all about it right now. Right now is good, right? <laughs> Welcome to e for electric your number one source of unbiased electric car news. See that subscribe button? If you haven't clicked it already, well, please do, because that way you won't miss anything moving forward and become a part of this amazing community. All right. So, you know, just like I said, Google has not been much in our lives as far as uh, helping uh, or making uh, our cars or our electric car owner lives easier. But they they are doing something for us that really only a, a third party, I feel like, uh, independent company can do because, um, you know, you know, for 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 those of us who are Tesla owners, right? We have the Tesla. You know, they're Google based, but they're Tesla implemented maps where, if we need to supercharge, we know what kind of wait time we can expect, and and if all stores or stalls are taken or not. As you can see here in the bottom right, you can see like let's say Arden Fair Mall that's near me here. Uh, basically, you see okay, only four. Uh, stalls are taken and all of those are uh, out of 19 are available 15 um, you can see that uh, also like if let me just zoom in a little bit see it also going to tell you what is the maximum rate is which is not really that high to be honest with you and the idle fees and so forth uh, now because supercharger network is exclusive to Tesla's I mean there are some exceptions in Europe but overall is then we don't really need and want really to go outside of the Tesla maps that we have in our cars uh, to look up the superchargers that are available or not. So we can decide whether we want to stop this one or that one, or if we should expect delays. This really comes into play in Silicon Valley, where there are, you know, uh, lines are uh, the superchargers regularly, especially on especially weekends, or when there's like a Memorial Day weekend and people are going to Tahoe, and, you know, wherever you live, you know, you know the busy rounds with, uh, uh, routes that you have, then you want to look it up, saying, okay, well, we're going to be there in five hours or seven hours because there's such a big uh, weight of these supercharger locations. So that's, that's that. Now, there are other... Um, Networks like EVgo, uh, they have their own maps where you can see, uh, not well, I have to say, it's not well done uh, with their interface, but you can also see which ones are available and which ones are in use. Now, this actually matters even more uh, to people because if they go into a store or to like maybe like uh, their kid's soccer practice and they're really almost counting on charging their car there, it is kind of important for them to know if it's they're going to be able to uh, because these are some slow charging. Now, charge point as well. Um, you can see um, that a little bit of a battery interface. So these are two are not taken and you can see they can charge at a tiny little slow rate of 6.6. .6. Charge point is just not known for having fast charging network. I'm greatly been disappointed by them uh, because they have such a big network and all these resources and they just haven't jumped into the most important part of the game, which is fast charging. But that's a whole different video for a, a different part of the day. Um, all right, but no, so here comes Google, and here's what they did. Let me tell you uh, uh, before that really quickly, let me remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the all-electric uh, Byton and by the all-electric SUV that's coming to the United States and Europe next year, starting at only $45,000. Make sure that you reserve uh, this car because it's uh, like about 50,000 people already reserved it. There's no charge to do it. It takes like 30 seconds. So go to Byton.com or there's a link in the description of this video. Check out this humongous uh, uh, screen the shared experience screen one of five in each Python. So check that out. All right. So here's what they did. Very simple, right? I mean, there is just no new product, new nothing. Basically, when you go on a map and you type, let's say, EV charging stations or whatever, if you want to like EV Go particular one, whatever. Whenever it will give you a map of all of this. Uh, on all of these charging stations, you can click on it. And instead of just saying, like in this case, it used to say just two stalls or two um, uh, uh, two chargers. Now you say available, see uh, one out of two, one out of two, one out of one. So that makes a humongous difference. You know, sometimes you don't need a new product and a new app to add value to your life because we already use Google Maps, obviously. So um, it's already there. It is just helping us to figure out what's available, what's not. Now. There are a couple of interesting things here. First of all, 
Uh, it's supposed to be available on all desktop computers if you go to uh, maps.google.com in all Android devices and uh, Android Auto, but the one that plugs into your car. I'm actually just about to use it because I'm going to uh, drive my Volt to the Bay Area uh, in just about an hour or so, but it's not available on the iPhone. I have never heard of this, uh, where usually if there's an app available for one of those, it's usually iPhone and then us Android users have to wait. The other way around. Now, obviously, it's Google. So there's there's why. And I'm sure that will come to iPhone at some point, uh, this feature, because it's kind of a feature. It's not a new app or a new competitive product. But I got to tell you, I just try. I have an Android phone, and I tried it, and it's not there yet. And I tried it on my desktop, and it's not there yet. Um, so it is roll, being rolled out in the U.S. and the U.K., so check it out. I'm kind of interested in, uh, let me know in the description of this video. Do you guys have it on yours? But this makes a big difference. I really, and I mean, I know for us, spoiled supercharger users, um, you know, we have everything implemented, but for people who need these uh, in, you know, leaves and, and i3s and so forth, and will be more others, uh, more other cars that will, will need this. This is pretty important. It's good, it's good that Google is, is jumping in. Now, uh, the, the only Charge Master, EVgo, what else, uh, and SEMA Connect um, that are uh, going to have that data for them. And I think ChargePoint is next. They're working on the ChargePoint. So not all of them, like Tesla Superchargers, will not get their information. But I'm hoping they will soon. They do have a partnership, obviously. So I'm hoping that Google will be able to make all of these deals all of these partnerships to get the data. So we'll just use a, a, a Google Maps to figure out wh where we can and cannot charge or if we should expect delays. Uh, let me know if this is working for you guys or not. I'm kind of curious. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to um, our VIP list where we send out exclusive content, offers, news, and so forth every week. It's free. Just go to e4electric.com slash VIP. We don't do those stories here on this channel, so it's just there. And I want to give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons. Mike Calderbank, thank you so much for joining my Patreon community, the only place where you can watch these video slides. Essentially, you're the first ones to see them. Uh, even before me, because I, that monitor is over there and I'm not even watching. I'm just looking into this camera because I just want to look into your eyes when I'm talking to you. I think it's only polite. Anyway, uh, thank you to all of you guys who are supporting me. If you want to become a Patreon, go to patreon.com slash e4electric. That link is also in the description of this video. All right, let me know what you guys think, or maybe you have other ideas. That's perfectly fine. All of that is in the comment section. See you next time, and remember to stay charged.